I love how everything is intertwined together. Everything. It's, it amazes me so much. I am so interested in how the world is connected. Today we're talking about tennis. And of course everybody knows that tennis is all about sex. Nobody wants to admit it. But that's what tennis is. Tennis is about sex. And we must embrace it. But this story is not about sex per se. This story today is about conspiracy theory. Yes, everybody wants to make fun of you and me when we talk about conspiracy theories. Of course, until the truth actually comes out. And then when the truth comes out, they say, oh, well, oh, yeah, I knew that all along. Yeah, we're all conspiracy nutcases until the truth comes out. And that's what I want to talk about today. How all the conspiracies are tied together to one group of people who control the world. Now you know, if you've listened to me before, we know who these people are. They are a foreign power who blackmail Congress into silence. Everybody's amazed that Congress just sits there and they drink their wine and they go to dinner at night and the lobbyists uh, give them money and the congressmen keep their mouth shut. Senators, for that matter, too. And the, and the world is amazed. And Americans are stunned and flabbergasted. How is it that Congress can just sit there like a bunch of dummies and do nothing as America is destroyed? Well, we know. These powers, the power to be, these small, tiny group of people who control the world, they blackmail the congressmen. The so how does this fit into tennis, you say? Okay, before I go off on a rant here, it's come out that the tennis players are throwing games. Ooh, doesn't that surprise you? Tennis players throwing games. And you might think I'm a nutcase, but this all goes into the people who rule the world. You see, they don't only rule the politicians. They don't only blackmail politicians into silence. They also own Sotheby's. Christie, the people who sell the artwork. The artwork is the most corrupt industry in the world. They own the diamonds. They own the jewelry. The diamond business, one of the most evil blood business in the world. They own it. What these people own, that you don't think that the NFL, the baseball league, the basketball leagues, you don't think they have the the guy in charge of that, the, the baseball commissioner, the football commissioner? Do your research on them. You don't think they're owned and bought by the people who rule the world? Come on, give me a break. It's all intertwined. There's one more thing that these tiny, tiny bit of people who own the Federal Reserve and they print up the fake money, there's one thing else they also like. They also like sexy women. Well, who doesn't? That's one thing I don't blame them about. They like sexy women. And, you know, like I said, who can blame them? And that's why they love tennis, because that's where the sexy girls are. Now, you can call me a pervert if you want to. Go ahead. Call me a pervert. Yes, I enjoy a beautiful woman once in a while. Yeah, call me a perv. I don't care. But this is coming down to the tennis players are throwing matches. The European sports authorities, they've known this for a long time. The casinos have long you know the casinos put limits on certain betting. When you come to when it comes down to boxing matches and tennis matches and college games, you know the, the casinos put limits on it. They won't take a large bet when it looks suspicious because the casinos know that these young people can be bought off and paid for. I mean, they're bought and paid for. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. And, they, and it, they can, you can buy it. You can buy it for Federal Reserve notes. Yes, it's beautiful. So I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. Living in a gambling town for as long as I have, I know that when you have young, beautiful people and they're coming up in the world and they're trying to get ahead there's not one and i say there's not one young person trying to scratch out a living that you can't buy off with federal reserve notes this is a fact now it may surprise you but it doesn't surprise me you can buy them all off with federal reserve notes